Hi, Dan Casmento here. I heard a a really, really nice story um, from a, a mentor of mine uh, quite some time ago, and its effect is quite. Uh, I think it's based on its simplicity, really, and it's about a boat and and a boat sitting out sitting out for sale. I don't know whether it was a motorized boat or you know a sailboat. Um, and we liken the boat to thinking about who's in, who's actually driving the boat, and who's sitting in the in the in the actual driver's seat of the boat, and the person sitting in the driver's seat of the boat is could be us, me, you, and how is the direction of the boat being steered? And the direction of the boat is being steered by our intention, by our thoughts. Obviously, we thought of, you know, if we were to drive a boat that we wanted to go from A to B, that we would think about where it is that we need to go and and uh, set our thoughts and our intention in route for that. And then what, I wonder, what is it that's left behind the boat? Have you ever noticed what's left behind the boat? We have that wake. And that wake is is what's left behind um, the boat as the boat cuts through the water with the with the focus or the thought of the uh, of the driver, both me or you, driving pretending, pretending that we're driving that boat uh, with the intention of going to a certain destination. And for maybe a, I'd love to have gone to a, a far off um, a far off offshore island, um, isolated with a beautiful exposed reefs with world-class surf, but, but that's another story. But I wonder, when you think about that boat, what actually steers it, that boat? Does the, is it the wake that steers the boat? Or is it the boat itself? that steers or that is steered in the direction through the right intention. And here begs the question, here when I think about this story, this metaphor that I share with you, how could it be possible that the wake could steer the boat? Because a wake is something that's already it's something that we've already passed. The boat has already passed it, but yet how can it be possible that the wake steers the boat? It's not the wake that steers the boat, it's actually the thought, the intention of the person driving the boat that steers the boat. And the challenge that we have in society, and I think the challenge that, um, the challenge that uh, some of us have all had from time to time, is that often the wake steers the boat, or tries to steer the boat, you know, the implied word try, meaning that that it's 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 not a, it's not a strategy that works well at all. And so by wake I mean that stuff in the past, that stuff that's already passed, that stuff that is tied up to our past experiences, that stuff that is a combination of events that in that are tied into um, potentially negative emotions and limiting beliefs and and strategies and I got brought up by the word strategy with a client this week, behaviours um, that have been created to deal with some of these things that, that moved us away from, from our sense of source or our sense of personal inspiration. So I want everybody to be driving their boat, to be focusing on the right intention and the direction of that boat, that the direction of the boat they want to go in, versus thinking that the wake can control the boat because it is impossible. It is impossible. The wake can never control the boat. And if you want to know how we can deal with that wake, if it's if that trail of wakeness is still there with you, uh, or if somebody you know, maybe a friend, family member, or a work colleague, make sure you jump onto my website at www 
www.deancasmento.com.au or why not shoot me an email at info at and I can share with you the, a range of coaching programs that might be suitable to you and especially during Christmas time we think about Christmas as a time for giving joy and happiness family and friends often it brings up a series of mixed emotions and those mixed emotions are very much associated with things that we potentially haven't dealt with yet but there is a way there definitely is a way so thanks for tuning in again and I must also thank many of you for, for the feedback that I've been getting. Sometimes when I'm walking the streets or uh, when I'm at a social event or I bump into some colleagues at, uh, or friends on Facebook and they say that, uh, you know what, then you know what, there's a lot of things that I don't get, <laughs> but there was just that one thing that made all the difference. So thank you for that. And I, you know, that's, that's fuel enough for me to keep on doing what it is that I'm doing here on, on social media. So thank you. Um, from Melbourne. Have a great day or a great evening. Uh, you take care of yourself and I'll speak to you or uh, I'll see you soon.